Uh, just gonna do a quick one tonight, I think. Uh, trying out a new uh, ring light on my camera. So hopefully you can see things a lot nicer, a lot brighter and more what they're supposed to be like here. Um, so today I thought what I would do is um, alcohol ink and I'm going to use some UFO. I've got some square UFO here. I've showed it to you before but I haven't actually used it yet. Um, and I had another idea for trying to make a flower. So what I think I'm going to do today, and of course I forgot again to get what I needed. That's okay, we'll use this part of the board. Um, so what I'm thinking is, instead of putting the alcohol ink on and, and alcohol and using the blower, um, what I'm going to do today is try some brushing techniques. Starting with using brushing alcohol on instead of um, squirting it on like I often do. So um, I keep flip-flopping between what color I want to use, but I'm thinking, and um, I've got my alcohol inks over on the side here, and they are actually ordered by color right now. And I have just enough to completely fill up this tin. So I was thinking, I kind of thought I would do red, but now I'm kind of thinking blue, but I haven't really done, well, let me just confirm. What have we got? Crimson. Crimson could be really nice. Um, let me just do a drop here and see what I think of it. I mean, even, even just the color that we can see in the lid. I think that's going to work well. Um, I might end up using some yellow. That's orange. Not the sunlight. I know I've got a dandelion. That's what I want. And I might even end up using some gray or black. So let's see. This is the black. Where's my gray? There it is. Black. Gray. You know what? It's going to be black if we use it. Uh, apologies for <laughs> me who has obviously seen something in our backyard. Mia! Mia! Come here, baby. Yeah, I can't get her attention, but I have a feeling the neighbor's cat is on the fence. Um, Mia. Sorry, one second. Scott, can you grab Mia, please? I'm streaming. All right, Scott to the rescue. And we'll take Mia and calm her down and remove her from being able to see what is there. So in the meantime, oh, while Scott's coming down here, I might get him to get me the one thing I forgot to get for myself too. Um, I'm going to first though. So I have this, and I think I'll need to make some room for it. We'll put it over here. Um, I have a little tray that's made for alcohol inks that's white and it's got little circles in it that you can put the different alcohol inks in. It's way big. It's and it gets all the things on top. So hopefully he'll find that and I'll clean up while he's looking for that so that I have somewhere to put it. Um, there, perfect. Oh good, and the circles are slightly bigger than what I remembered, which is perfect. So this is the tray I was talking about. Um, and so it just opens up. We can mix colors in here if we wanted to. Um, what I'm actually going to be mostly using it for right now is I'm going to just pour alcohol into one of these circles so that I can sort of use it to dip my brush in, put my brush on, um, and wipe the alcohol directly onto the page. 
um, I may end up putting some drops of alcohol in somewhere too. You could also uh, put some alcohol ink in one and then put some alcohol in it as well and have a diluted color all ready to go. Um, lots of different options, but yeah, I'm going to for today, actually I'll do it this way. I'm going to get all my alcohol pieces out and ready to be used though. That should be good. So that being said, I'm going to take my alcohol. I always have troubles getting this lid off. It's the tiniest lid. All right, got that off. Do not try that at home. I used my teeth and got a bit of the alcohol in my mouth. Aside from not being the smartest thing to do in general, because you shouldn't be eating this or drinking this alcohol, it tastes nasty. So uh, I won't be doing that again if I can help it. <sighs> All right, so I've got some alcohol in there. Now, which brush am I going to use? I have quite a few brushes here. And actually, just here, I think I'm going to use I'm going to start with this flat one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with one sort of petal. Um, and <laughs> just to be clear, I am not a botanist. I am not really a huge flower person. So uh, the flower that I'm about to attempt to draw probably doesn't exist. Um, but hey, that's okay. So I'm going to put some alcohol down here and my goal, my hope is um, if I can get enough on here fast enough, of course I did not open the, oh no I did. So now I'm going to put, I think I'm going to drop it here at this side. And of course it's not moving. So I'll pick up my paper and I'm just gonna sort of help it move around a bit and hope that it starts to uh, flow. So this is not, like I said, not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's okay. More than learn. Um, I'm just gonna take this same brush. I'm gonna put a bit more alcohol on it. And I'm just going to use it to help move the alcohol ink where I kind of wanted it to go. So kind of painting it, kind of just blech. That is very definitely not what I had hoped would happen. Uh, but there's always ways to make things. Oops, now it's kind of come down here. Let's kind of make that as if it were intentional. Uh, where did my mister go? So uh, I don't like the how the brush strokes of those are, but if I spritz this, let's see how that helps because that will put those mini drops in there and it'll modify that brush work that I've already got going and then it sort of starts to pull itself back together wherever it kind of wants. So um, yeah, not exactly as usual what I was initially hoping for, but also not, not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to pour another little pot of alcohol here so I can actually clean my brush, which is also giving me a diluted. So actually this is another thing we can try. Let's try a different sort of petal let's say I guess if, if we're still assuming this might be a flower um, so now with the alcohol ink inside this alcohol I'm gonna just paint another bit so you can see this time and I mean that's a very diluted um, amount and I've done a completely different shape here because you know I'm not so great at this drawing flower stuff um, but if we just kind of keep putting a bit on I mean as we layer it we're getting a bit more color but again if I sort of 
Let me put a drop. I mean, a drop is all I did on that other one, and that color is kind of cool. So if we do that, and then again, we just keep using this and sort of help it know where we want it to go. And then again, like I said, we're not going to worry so much. I don't like sort of not sharp edges, but if we don't worry about the brushwork, and you know, look at the difference in color, and I think that's just from it drying. Maybe let's do another spritz. We'll probably end up getting, we could do this to try to avoid getting that other one. We got it a little bit, but that's okay. And just watch and see how this one goes. And I mean, even while it's you know, sort of redoing its thing, we could try to manipulate it a little bit. Um, I don't know. I think I like that first. Oh, it looks like this might be turning into that same kind of color. So if we just kind of keep making shapes. I'm going to do this side because it already has some alcohol happening on it. And I'm not going to worry too much about the middle because... Um, my thinking is to put either yellow or black or a combo in there. Um, so we'll just paint this a couple more times, make sure we get a good amount of alcohol on there. And then put another drop. And now we vary from Pushing it around on its own. Let's just see if we just kind of leave it like this and do a spritz. Of course, it's just, oops, I obviously got some on my hand and then touched the paper. That's all right. Um, and because we didn't have any alcohol there, that's probably not going to come off, certainly not easily. Um, I don't think that's going to do exactly what I was hoping. So we'll do some more paintbrush. Paint brush work. That's fine. Might need another. Oh, maybe not. We'll do another spritz though. And of course, we're constantly spritzing these two as we do, but I'm trying to cover it a little bit. It's interesting, we've got almost this vein there, um, and I'm running out of alcohol in that particular section of my little palette, so we'll just add a little bit more, continue using, uh, I can't tell if you can see this, because of course my ring light's clipped over my phone a bit. Uh, but I know you can see whatever's on here. So this is the palette tray I'm talking about, and that's the one that's got just alcohol. This is the one I've been using since I got my brush dirty. Um, we'll do more than four petals, but I think this is a good start. We're getting some interesting shapes too. Um, I mean. Flowers aren't perfect either, right? They have misshapen petals and different kinds of shapes and all kinds of different things going on with them sometimes. So I'm not going to worry about it being perfection. Perfection doesn't belong in my studio. It's the first time I ever referred to this as a studio. Oh my god. I really love using the lister sometimes. Uh, it can be really handy. Now, I don't love how this one's turning out, but again, I mean, as they dry, they keep shifting, right? So, um, I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Now, now the question is, what do we want to do next? Because I did plan for four. But of course, this looks like it needs more than four. 
I can try adding, let me see if I can get a cleaner brush. I guess it doesn't matter, but I'll just see if I can't. Yeah, that's just not gonna, that's fine. Uh, so I'll start up here where this is sort of a bit cleaner, and I'm gonna just draw more. And right now, again, my main goal with the brush initially is just to get some alcohol on the page for the ink to follow. Uh, and then I guess I could have got my blower out today too, but. Not every time do we need to use the air blower. So yeah, we're gonna, that doesn't work so well. We always end up doing this, don't we? So let's just keep doing this. Oops. And if we want it to come out more, that's fine. Maybe we'll just do all of these real quick and then just kind of give the whole thing a spray. There's an option. And gosh, I'm getting sloppier and sort of, I guess, caring less with each one that I do. Um, and I don't say that as a bad thing in a way, especially when we're dealing with alcohol ink. It can be a really good thing to not be so controlled, right? We want to, we can't control the alcohol ink to some extent only to a certain extent, so there's just no point in putting a lot of effort into trying. Um, and you know, sometimes when you just go and do things, you end up with something a lot nicer than what you would have got if you tried to be really reserved and and controlling, for lack of a better word. I'm just gonna grab some hand sanitizer. I now keep a big um, squirt bottle of hand sanitizer at the edge of my station as well. Um, it turns out it's been great, I found anyways, for getting the alcohol ink off of my hands. Um, cleaning this board, getting resin off of my hands. Um, yeah, all around it's been really helpful to have nearby. I use it for lots. So um, I started off with just a little squeeze bottle and that just turned into getting a, a bigger bottle to be able to refill my squeeze bottle. but. It's been really handy to just have because as it happened, the big bottle does have the pump on it. And so whenever I need to get something off my hands, it's right there waiting for me. And I don't know why, but I just dipped my brush in the alcohol again, but that's okay. It's got quite a bit of pigment in it too. So um, this is really, really misshapen. Um, but I kind of like it anyways. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's still moving around. That's fine. Uh, I might even want to round it. I don't know if it's too late. Let's see. So I'm thinking I might want to round these out a little bit. You know? Here. Yeah, that kind of feels meh. Maybe I'll do that with the rest of them. And so now I'm going to give the whole thing a spritz. Ooh, I accidentally forgot I already took the lid off and just uh, pulled the cap off. So let's see. That didn't even go the right way. There, we gave it two spritzes because oh, we're going to go for a third. I feel like the other end of that. Maybe it's just too dry. I don't know. I don't hate it. I'm not done either. Um, but I do want some of this to dry 
I think just a little bit because hmm. I want to do some center stuff so do I want to do black I haven't used the black before I'm pretty sure um, and I know I mean with black with anything you want to kind of go easy so I don't think it'll be bad if I mix the black with my red still on my brush so what I might do is Oh, let's, fingers crossed we don't totally screw it up. One drop of black right there. Good, that's not going too far away. Didn't want it to. And grab some of this alcohol, don't dilute it. And let's just kind of, I don't even necessarily want a flat, I just want, you know, the inside of me. This is by no means a poppy, <laughs> but just sort of thinking of a poppy with the red um, and the way that the insides are, they're kind of more like speckled, right? So I just kind of do this around and let's, I don't want to get it too close into anything that's wet with the red. Uh, but let's see, oh, maybe we could go bigger. Yeah, those are starting to dry, so let's bring it out a bit further. This brush is actually really good for what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to, when I feel like I might not have quite enough on my brush anymore, just kind of grab some from the middle and just keep it out. It may look like I'm doing a circle, and I mean essentially I am, but I'm not actually worrying about it being a proper circle, right? Um, nature's pretty good with geometry and stuff, but um, there's, again, it's never a hundred percent. And if this was like little, say this was the poppy seeds, they would be, um, in rows, right? Rows or, or circles all around. But it would be little bits, not an actual proper, like, hard, solid line circle. So there would be room for, you know, the odd one that had a double or something like that. Um, but I'm just thinking sort of to make it look like, like, if we look at that, it looks like that petal doesn't come all the way into this. So into the center and we certainly don't want a petal just hanging there like where did it come from so um, yeah I think that looks good uh, definitely I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the one that I have open already or sorry the clear alcohol ink and I might make a couple more just to sort of keep cleaning this off bit more, a bit more, a bit more, until it's actually cleanish. Because what I want to do next is add a touch of yellow, I think, into that black. And I mean, I guess, again, if, if we're doing it on the black anyways, it's not going to matter too much if I have a bit of the black on my paintbrush, um, but now the question is, do I want to put the yellow directly down, or I think I'm actually going to put the yellow, you know how I like to spill things, I almost spilled all this alcohol and palette onto the ground. Um, anyways, I think I'm going to put, oof, and this is the dandelion yellow. I'm going to put some straight into one of these little pods, a couple of drops. It's a really nice color, it really is good for, well, dandelions, um, but I think it would be good for pollen in general. So I'm going to just take some of this and just spot it around the black. and. 
going to activate because the black has started to dry a bit too. And just kind of give it a mixture. Maybe put a little bit of alcohol in there. Just to get the color again. And just here, we may not end up actually seeing any of the yellow. Maybe I need to do it a couple more times with the alcohol. I like that though. And you know what? I'm going to give it another spritz to see. Ugh, I almost tried to pull that cap off again. Gosh. Um, I'm just going to try to do a spritz right from the top this time. Now it's kind of working well. I like that. Now, of course, I've got this red here. I've got some other colors happening around. So, what I might do. I wonder. Oh, see, now that's where you can tell where I did the extra lines. I don't like that. Can we spritz it and get rid of it? Probably not. Well, we'll see. my paintbrush right now to try to use it for the red. It has quite a neat blacky yellow color on it though. Uh, gosh, no, no, that's just gonna do what it's gonna do. Um, I don't know, what else could we do with this? I might have to let it dry and, and think about it and come back to it. I don't think this is finished. At the very least it was a good test. Um, first time I really used a brush with the alcohol inks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. Um, we could put some green around it, you know, pretend it's a flower in a field, uh, which potentially could hide that red, or we could spatter, you know, a bit of red around it as well. Um, but I think, I think I'm going to leave that like that for today. And we're going to call that a day. Um, thanks for coming out. Don't forget you can subscribe on YouTube or Twitch to Christina's Creations. You can find me and follow me on Instagram. Um, I think that's just under, gosh, I'll have to look it up. Uh, I think it's just my name or Amethyst Answers, which is my old handle from my other business. So that is that for today. Thanks again for coming out and we'll see you next time.